hitch tunneling. You may have heard about it, you may not have, but I'm here to tell you that you need to learn how to do it. This video today is to try to help you understand what pitch tunneling is and why it's effective and how people are doing it today. Let's get into it. What's good everybody, it's Percy Garner, former major league pitcher, and I'm trying to help you become one. Uh, I wanna get right into this video. We're talking pitch tunneling. I'm very frustrated. I've made multiple videos and I switched some things around and there was no audio. So thank you to whoever left me uh, the comment, let me know. Um, this is the third time recording this video. Hopefully we can get this done and the audio seems to be working. Uh, but yeah, pitch tunneling, I just wanna get through this as fast as possible because um, I don't wanna waste your time. So uh, I wanna do a quick explanation and then a longer one. So quick is just, you know, Pitch tunneling, using the pitch, the way your pitches move uh, and their speed and the way they break uh, and, and like working them together to make them look like the same pitch, but then obviously ultimately at the end, they will have different movement and branch off different directions. I feel like that was the, <laughs> I feel like that was the long explanation. Quick explanation is, you know, using the pitch, the flight of your pitches and trying to get them to look similar until they ultimately uh, get into their different breaks, whether you're throwing, for, in my instance, if you're throwing a two seam um, that's going into a right-handed hitter or a uh, curve ball uh, that, uh, and I threw a different curve ball, I threw more of like a slurve. Uh, I didn't throw a 12-6, because a 12-6 is a little bit different, but we'll get into that one in a second. But for me, two seam sinker going into the righty and my curve ball uh, with a, a little bit more lateral break or side horizontal break uh, than most people's curveballs uh, would kind of just go the opposite direction as my sinker. So that was me. I didn't intentionally do it, but we're going to get into that as well. Um, also, if you didn't see the last video, I want to tie it into kind of, you know, because uh, in the last video we were talking about pitching to each side of the plate. And if a pitch is inside, it seems faster to a hitter. Uh, they have longer to react on pitches outside, so you can uh, use that to your advantage because our main job is to make sure we mess up the hitter's timing. Uh, so if you didn't see that, it should be up here, I think. Um, I'd appreciate it if you check that out. But yeah, so man, pitch tunneling, it's, it's not new, but uh, I think since we put a name on it now, um, you know, pitchers probably for years have been you know, unintentionally using pitch tunneling and maybe calling it something else or maybe not even having a name for it, just their pitches work together. Um, but I would say typical, the one popular right now, we'll say like Tristan McKenzie, you know, he's got that four seam backspin uh, fastball, four seam fastball that can rise to the top of the strike zone. And then you have the 12 six curveball come in right off of that pitch, where it looks like it's on the same plane and then it just kind of drops off. It makes it very difficult for the hitter. Now, hitting is already difficult, but if you can make uh, you know, pitch tunneling a part of your arsenal, uh, I think it will help your success, um, if not now, in a, definitely in the long run. Um, so I think something that is important is you know seeing what's out there and then applying it to you the best way. So obviously if you're, Someone like me, you know, sinker baller, two seamer, you don't want to all of a sudden just try to, you know, add a pitch that isn't really in your strength just so it can tunnel. Uh, but you can practice it so you can, you know, if it's not something you want to do right now, maybe when you're playing catch, uh, because believe me, when I was drafted by the Phillies, they tried their hardest to get me to learn how to backspin a four seam and it, it just never worked. So sometimes things don't work for us, but... Uh, in the long run, if you think you can learn a pitch that would uh, benefit you or be a good, um, you know, tunneling pitch with something that you already have in your arsenal, then go ahead and use catch and, and bullpens to work on that pitch, um, whether it's in the offseason or if you're just playing uh, catch with your buddies, uh, use that time. Now, uh, quickly, uh, if you're enjoying the content, please leave a like and uh, subscribe, please. Um, uh, I appreciate the support so far. We're just, you know, we got new podcasts coming out. Um, always trying to get the pitching tips out to you guys as much as possible. I'm going to be making short form content, vertical content as well, uh, where it's going to be like a smaller, a shorter um, um, 
I guess, summary of these longer pitching tip videos. So if you don't have much time, that would be the best way. And I'm probably going to do those on TikTok and Instagram and here on YouTube as well in YouTube shorts. So I'd appreciate it if you like to subscribe. Also join the Discord. It's a baseball community, but we talk about everything. But I think we have around 50 members now. So please join that. The link is down below. Discord is the best app ever made. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to build a community there uh, formed around baseball pitching and, and, you know, whatever else we get to talk about over there. So if you're not familiar, go check it out. Also, there's other links in the description that, you know, show you how to contact me and find me and connect with me on other platforms as well. Um, so I would love you to give me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Did lose my check mark. Thank you, Elon Musk. Anyways, last one is, I want you to know it's, it's important that, you know, and I know I told, said it's not new, but pitchers have been doing this for a long time. So it's not, it's, it's not a, like rocket science. It's just, you know, just trying to figure out what works best for you. Um, I think moving forward, you're going to hear a lot more pitchers talking about this. And I think it's something that uh, is important enough for you to either, you know, look at what your pitchers are doing and see when you throw it, whether that's on film, whether you're just playing catch with your, your you know, your catcher or your teammate, just see how your pitches move and get feedback from your, your, your teammate. When he's playing catch, he can see the movement as well. So I would, you know, recommend getting some feedback from your, your throwing partner and seeing where your pitches can, um, you know, where they can tunnel off each other and, and what can benefit you in the long run. Because yes, velocity is amazing, um, but it's important if you have the mental aspect and knowing how your pitches work and how hitters react to those pitches. And uh, I think it's good to uh, take advantage of pitch tunneling. So <sighs> I hope uh, these pitching tips have encouraged you uh, on your journey to become the best pitcher possible as you possibly can. And uh, yeah, I mean, give me, give me some feedback in the comments down below, whether you wanna make fun of me for always having my mic on mute, or if you just want to, uh, you know, talk about maybe some things you disagree with in my explanation of pitch tunneling, or if you got something to add uh, that can maybe complement what I just put down, uh, what I just said in this video, let us all know down in the description or down in the comments, and uh, I'd appreciate the feedback. Now, uh, there should be some videos popping up here. Uh, one is going to be a playlist uh, of all my pitching tips, and one will be another video uh, that I think you should watch. Uh, I appreciate the support, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.